Hi, and welcome to In Real Life once again. And uh, my great pleasure today to have Liz Lump with me, my great friend and medical colleague. And uh, we go back a few years now. We have lots of adventures together, this country and South Africa. So uh, welcome, Liz. Nice to see you. Good to be here, Pete. Thanks for having me. It's All great right. to be here. And we've got some thoughts for today, haven't we, which actually tries to make sense of, of what's going on. Um, just to say, it's, it's, a, it's a tough period at the moment, isn't it? The, you know, different, the, you know, tier three experience for many of us. London's just going into tier three, all that sort of stuff and other places. So, And the NHS under pressure, would you say? Yeah, um, NHS is under a lot of pressure. So, And people are feeling feeling the the really the bite of it as it were um winter is a tough time normally and it's it's an extra tough time this year so i think people are feeling that and it's been a long year hasn't it so people are probably weary um and uh, and that takes its toll there's a and when things get tough like that there's a lot of emotion around um and yeah just when i was thinking about that I was thinking we need to be kind to ourselves, really, that, um, and just recognise what's going on, that, yeah, it is a tough time. There's some great news, you know, the vaccines are out, um, and that's a lot of hope, you know, um, but we know it doesn't change things overnight. We've still got um, a few months ahead, um, but three months, um, and hopefully, you know, spring will be here and we'll be on the other side. But yeah. um, we've got to get through these next three months. Um, yeah. Yeah, and again, seeing actually that they started the vaccination program in the USA, I found encouraging as well. So, you know, here, yeah. a friend of mine in Holland, I think, says they're starting in January. Um, so, yeah, the nations will be will be gr gradually rolling that out and then hopefully more vaccines on, on the way. So, uh, so that, that's good hope. But as I say, these tiring. I know, I'm just saying to you, I'm tired now, you know, I'm very... Various various pressures and and uh, the, the just crowding um, alongside the, the the ongoing COVID reality, but it is time. But actually, we want to talk a bit about springtime arriving, don't we? So um, you got mm. some thoughts around that, and I've got some thoughts around that. So why don't you start off with your thinking? Yeah, I I really um, felt the spirit kind of impress on me that it's the dawn. You know that this is the dawn, that the sun is rising. Um, but I don't know if you've ever been up at dawn. Um, some people, <laughs> I'm sure you have been. Many times um, used, to work, used to work through dawn many times. <laughs> yes, indeed, yeah. Not always one's favourite time. It's a tough time. And um, I, as a kid, when we went on holiday, it was one of the things I used to like to do. I think because I like watching sunset. I thought, well, let's see what the dawn's like. So I'd say to my dad, um, oh, I want to get up and see the dawn, particularly if we were somewhere new. I just, I don't really understand why I wanted to do that, but I did. I wanted to see the dawn. And I can remember one particular dawn, we were in Agulhas on the coast of South Africa, and it's a very windy place. It's the southernmost tip, um, and it's incredibly windy, chilly um, at dawn. And that just reminded me that, yes, it's, dawn is a hopeful thing. It's the start of a new day. There is a change in season. It is changing. Hope is coming. The sun's rising. But right now, it's cold and chilly. Um, and I can remember that dawn, you know, hiding behind the, this shed, you know, because it was so windy and so cold, <laughs> but we just wanted to see the dawn come up. And um, I think it's just hanging on to that right now. That's the kind of analogy that I'm thinking of, you know, that, um, yes, the sun is rising, the season will change. Yeah, um, but we just need to, we need to look at it uh, look at the sun, you know, watch the dawn rising. A friend said to me, um, look to the look to the Eastlers, not to the West. And she didn't know what that meant, but actually what that meant to me was watch the sun rise. You know, keep your focus on where the sun is rising. Um, there has been a lot of darkness. It's it's a really difficult time. Um, but actually if we can keep our eyes fixed on that which is hopeful um, and positive and that we see actually coming into coming into blossom, what's blooming, then, then that can really help our spirit and keep us, keep us going during these last few months. Yeah, looking for the, looking for the spring arriving, actually was saying, have I, have I seen the dawn? Actually, obviously I have many times, but I was just thinking it actually just came to mind one time, uh, Kim and I were actually visiting the Grand Canyon. We were in the Grand Canyon. Oh, wow. And, uh, it was October, November time. 
and cold, cold up there, because it's actually a high, high altitude. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't quite realise, it was chilly. But we got up to, to watch the sunrise um, spectacularly over, over the, the canyon. And we got up and it was freezing and we got on the you know, little bus that took you to the place where you could have the viewpoint. And we were standing there with a, with a crowd of people, um, you know, not a massive crowd, but people think, yeah, we, we want to see this happen. And then it arose and suddenly illuminates what what's what can't be seen and I guess that's a picture we're we're, we're looking at isn't it that st things start to appear that haven't been seen for a while um, mm -hmm. and that's what the image of winter going into sp spring is all about and uh, mm -hmm. uh, just sharing a verse again that I, I shared it on Sunday morning at the beginning of the, the Eastgate uh, Sunday meeting sir, Sunday morning meeting um, and it says this in Isaiah 61 verse 11 says the sovereign Lord will show his justice to the nations of the world Everyone will praise him. His righteousness will be like a garden in early spring with plants springing up everywhere. And that's, God really spoke to me about that actually just about three weeks ago. I was like, oh, that's it again, isn't it? That, that picture. Um, and uh, yesterday, I was just going for a quick walk in my garden um, with Kim. And uh, I thought, like, wow, actually, there's actually a flower out. I've got a camellia bush. And, uh, oh, wow. And it, it is the... It's the first bush that comes into flower in our garden, but actually it's got one solitary flower that's, that's come out. And I'm actually looking out the window at it. I can see it out my, my window right now. Oh, ah, there it is. There's, there, no, there's the first one. It's, it, there's lots and loads, loads and loads of buds on the actual bush. Just one's come mm -hmm. out. You know, that's enough to say, ah, it, to lift your heart, lift your spirit. Think mm -hmm. actually, yes, there is a, if you like that, new dawn is arriving, the new season. And, and one of the other things I, I, you know, Kim and I talk about it because, don't particularly enjoy the, the short you know days you know when no. you know, mm. not much not much like but from next week you know the days start to get longer and again yes. it's, just, <laughs> you know, it's a just it's a staging post for me every year yes yes and bef even before Christmas arrives actually boom the days are starting to get to uh, get longer the lights arriving and, and it will will reveal what <clears throat> what can't be seen but actually mm. is in existence Mm, absolutely. I celebrate it every year because it is it's the it's the beginning of things getting brighter. And um, and for me, yes, I'm, middle of winter is not my favorite time. So um yes, it's I really celebrate the, the coming of the light. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I just and I love that picture of of you know his righteousness is will be like a garden in early spring. Early spring is mm. early spring is not fullness of life, is it? It's actually you mm. think and I, it's amazing um, how much joy you can get from a little little bit of green just sprouting up. You're thinking, wow, there it is. And sometimes you don't even know what it's going to be. You think, I wonder what that's going to be. What is it? What? <laughs> um, it was funny. We were out for a walk uh, on Saturday, actually, with, with our son, daughter, and all grandchildren, you know, um, and the six of us are allowed to be out in, in the public arena. And we were walking locally along, along the roads down to... Uh, to have a Costa coffee together outside. Um, and <laughs> I just took note of somebody in their garden and I thought, well, that is meticulous because they had all these little plastic things in the ground which marked out, um, I think, must be every bulb because I had a quick look. Wow. The tulip, I thought, well, that is, that is meticulous. Now, most yeah. of us don't do that, do we? We just yeah. say, there's something coming up. I'm like, I wonder what it is. And that's part of the, the wonder of spring for me. So, mm. Yeah, I love spring, one of my favourite seasons. Um but you're right, it's, it's, uh, sometimes we forget what's been in the garden, actually, what's been growing. And um, yeah, it's always such a delight to see it, isn't it? Um, but I think reflecting on this time when we have had time to ourselves, because a lot of people have missed that connection with other people, haven't they? And I can't wait to see my friends again and give them a hug. What a celebration that's going to be when we can finally do that. But during this time, it has been... Um, a time of creativity for some people, I think, and um, and a time of preparation. And I th I've been working on projects that it's not quite the right time to reveal yet, but they're really exciting. And, you know, they're giving me hope. Um, and I can't wait for the spring when hopefully things can start to be revealed. And, um, yeah, I think I just encourage people now that, you know, as they as they're reflecting on those things that they've been working on, not to lose hope or courage now. Actually, this is, this is that time of preparation. And while we can't do other things, actually we can work on our 
our hopes and our dreams and um, and prepare for the times when we can mm. can reveal what uh, what we've been working on and, and what's in store. Yeah, again, another thing that I've, I've been talking about that with the students in the, you know in our training school um, about creating good soil. And yeah, I, mean, I think for me this my one of my overall impressions of this last year has been that God is actually working on the soil of our mm. hearts. Um, mm. And I know with gardening, you know, that actually, you know, you can have great seed, you know, bulbs, but actually if you put them in bad soil, then mm. nothing grows. Um, and the Bible talks about that, obviously, with the parable of the sower, you know, the different mm. soils. Um, and I honestly believe it's our responsibility what the soil of our heart is like. But actually God wants to work with us to, to create that great soil within which many different things can grow. And actually more than we'd ask or imagine, you know, you yeah. get the surprises, suddenly think, yeah. I didn't know that would grow here. Yeah. That was a surprise and um again that, that helps me thinking because when, when we're just saying when, when you're doing that actually when, when you're working on the soil actually it doesn't look productive at all it actually it's messy you know mm, you get very you messy fruits, it, doesn't, it doesn't look great you know and it, it but that preparation time is actually vital for for what is to come next um i think we were chatting with sasha last last week i think it was on in real life i lose track but She's got an allotment. She's just got an allotment. And so yeah, exciting. At the moment, what she's having to do is actually work on the soil. But actually, she had the surprise of somebody working on it for her, but actually putting the compost all across this place. So, so actually, she didn't have to do it herself. I thought it was a great picture. But uh, oh, yeah, without it. that soil being there, then the next is 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 not going to be as fruitful as it should be. So what mm. tips have you got on, on actually that preparation? How, how do you prepare yourself for, for the coming days? Yeah, I think for me it is, it's working out, um, first of all, how to look after ourselves. So I think, so being very conscious about um, what brings one joy and what brings, um, what feeds one's own spirit and soul. So, you know, for me, a key has been walking. Um, I love being outside that even, you know, on the hardest days, if I can get outside, <clears throat> even if it's the next day, that just really um, encourages me, lifts me. And um, yeah, and the spirit, you know, will speak to me. I can hear very easily in that environment. Mm. Um, so it's it's knowing what, I think, what, what nurtures us, what helps us, you know. Um, is it cooking? You know, is it um, one of the things I did recently was <laughs> I... Um, I love music, so uh, I'm not a great cook. Um, but when I when I do do some um, when I'm cooking or preparing some food, I put some music on. And um, uh, my hubby came and put on Abba Gold on the CD, and um, I was I was jumping around the kitchen, um, you know, just listening to that. And I thought, oh, that was so much joy. Mm. So you know, it's just um, remembering those things that that fill you with joy that actually you know feed your soul even if you haven't done them in a while um and i think that that can really help um during those times and then for me taking that time to reflect we're so used to being busy aren't we um you know our lives have been so full but actually you know taking some time and saying you know it's okay i um i've got an hour now let me write in my journal let me let me take time to just reflect and think um and and actually amazing stuff comes out of that um sharing with friends over zoom or however you want to do it <laughs> um those those have been ways of nurturing um my soil as it were that have really helped um actually develop some things and and uh, put good soil around those early early seeds um, and that and when you start to do that and you start to realize what's happening and when you start to see those that early growth that really is encouraging and mm. lifts the spirits um, I think yeah it's it, for me it's there's there is still so much that's difficult um and uh, and hugely challenging and tiring i think we should acknowledge to ourselves that this is exhausting so we need we need to be able to take time out it's really important i think for health professionals right now um 
running out a vaccine is a it's a lot of work it's a lot of time gone into it um and we yeah we need to make sure that we have time taking time out um we can't be everywhere all the time for people um otherwise we will burn out you know and that's um but actually if we do take time to rest um at least once a week, <laughs> preferably a bit more. <laughs> um, but that, that certainly helped me, you know. Um, there's always more that I want to do, but actually just taking um, taking it step by step, focusing on the things I can do um, that are in my control. Um, and then, um, yeah, nurturing those dreams and the things that I'm looking forward to, That's mm. that has really, really helped me. I love what you said, Peter, around the garden analogy, because I was just thinking that, um, you know, when when you've got a garden that people have been working on, in the spring, you start to see little bits come up in all parts of the garden. And then as you have a more mature garden, um, it all works together. And I, I'm really excited for the spring. I think we'll see these things that people have been working on um, by themselves that others don't necessarily know about. And actually how it will all work together um, and those connections and creativity, people might go, wow, that's my dream. Mm -hmm. I want to do that. Um, so I think, yeah, for people who've had dreams and then just can't see a way forward through them, um, don't give up on that yet, you know, because actually I think there's, there's more coming that will help people really, really connect with their dreams and their um what they'd love to see happen so there are good times ahead it's it's we've just got to keep going through this chilly dawn at the moment yeah i think well actually i know some of your stuff you know some of my stuff the things that are going on in the background about big opportunities that that are coming our way that god is opening up and there are some massive opportunities that i know i just had um, some friends of ours uh be involved in some community projects around in, in mm. Surrey and they've done some phenomenal stuff and then it's giving them you know they're being invited into other places to help they're really helping the communities and developing oh, good. and I think yeah people are, I think Christians are doing well at trying to serve their communities as, at the moment and that that's something I, I, I've been really thinking about the last couple of weeks because there, there are you know people connect with God in many different ways you know some mm. are more contemplative some are others but uh, I, I was it just came to mind there's, there's some people who basically they connect to god best when they're serving with other people mm. when they're actually mm. doing things practically with other people and mm. my heart went out to them a bit because i'm a bit like that but not not entirely yeah. but actually thought actually those people have been robbed of that opportunity for a long time now and, and i think mm. sometimes people like that think that their spirituality is less mm. found mature than somebody who can say you know pray for three hours non-stop which i can't you know mm. uh, at all. You know, just take time soaking on the floor with God in his presence, I, I, which are all great and I, I all very, but some people think, ah, I just don't, don't, can't do that. But actually they are so brilliant at serving and um, it came home to me actually on Sunday, we actually served the local community around Eastgate by putting on a sort of Christmas light thing. Yeah, lovely. And they uh, had to be out in the open and it, the weather, it was cold and it started to rain and, and I went around oh, checking on people, how are you doing? And I said, Oh yeah, great, doing fine. And I'm thinking, yeah, there you are, there you are. You know, you you're mm. just serving people, and that's one of the mm. ways you fill your joy tank up. If as I recall, mm. or that connection, I thought. Um, so really, my heart. And if you're one of those people, I think it's really important. I wanted to let you know if you're feeling being finding this particularly tough, then mm. that way that you connect with God is just as valid as somebody who can spend, mm. you know, three hours in prayer or soaking and. So I thought, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm feeling for those folks who have been robbed of that opportunity of, of serving alongside others. But um, and the other thing I think you're just talking about in the gardens is, um, I remember going with you to Bromley by Bow. Oh yes, yeah. That, that place Very up exciting. There. Actually, part of that place was actually a communal garden, wasn't it? And actually, that's mm. one of the things, the therapeutic effect of actually gardening together. Mm. Um, not just single it's not you know i thought often people it's a bit of a can be a singular in the british mindset we have our garden it's, um, yeah there's something about doing it together as well that that is mm. even more profound and i think that's what mm. when when we all come back together as church and a hug and ah looking forward to having a hug with you liz that'd be nice so, <laughs> <laughs> then uh, i think there's going to be such an outbreak of joy um mm. 
and people will find themselves again in an extraordinary way. Um, and I think mm. the church will, I think the church will appreciate itself, you know, each other mm. in a way that mm. maybe, you know, maybe we've taken it for granted a bit before. Mm. Mm. Absolutely. I think, um, I think communities, I hope, well, I hope that they will just appreciate each other more. I mean, over this year, people have been um, really grateful for support from each other, haven't they? And we've connected with people probably we haven't connected in some ways. Our neighbours may know some of them better than others. Um, Maybe sadness in that as well. Um, But there, yeah, I think, yeah, um, I've had a little puppy during <laughs> during lockdown, so I've been walking lots and, you know, had socially distanced chats with all kinds of people I never knew lived in my area before. So um, there have been lots, lots of opportunities for connection that, uh, yeah, for us in different ways, perhaps. And then, you know, that gardening, I, you know, I can't wait for the spring when um, things starting to come up and, yeah, there's things to share you know, um, you know, one of my good memories from this last year is, you know, neighbor just calling over the fence and saying, you know, I've I've got too much of this veg. You know, would you like some? And I'd say, oh yes, please. I don't have any of that. That'd be great. And then I was saying, I've got too many lettuces. You know, would you like some lettuce? <laughs> you know? um, but that sharing of of doing things uh, together, um, even during the, these difficult times, has been good. But you know, imagine what we can do, you know, going forward, um, you know, when we're gardening together or other things that we can do in the community together, that that connection, I think we all recognise and appreciate it so much now, don't we, how, yeah. how valuable that connection is. Yeah, we, we, um, we got some strawberry plants about three years ago, something like that, about 36. We just plumbed that, well, they, they reproduce like crazy. <laughs> Because <laughs> you know, they just they literally have their runners, so we we just we've been given away, and we had we put them out on the you know our driveway. People, please take the strawberry plants, and yeah, they've been distributed around around the area. It's really I'd say that that sharing with one another of our productivity, and that's what mm. that's a beautiful picture of Christianity. Mm. And you know, I, I was again talking to the students last week, and I was just thinking, well, what what does it mean to be spiritually healthy? Um, and I guess it is a challenge at the moment, but actually the fruit of the spirit say that they love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, you know, faithfulness, self-control. And I think sometimes mm-hmm. we major on on the you know the joy and the peace bit, but actually that that loving love, kindness to other people, this mm-hmm. people trying to be kind, you know, faithfulness, that, that self-control. I think a lot of that is so evident and mm-hmm. in, in people's lives at the moment. You know, kindness has come to the fore, isn't it? So I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's 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 celebrate the fruit that is in our lives that already is evident. There is some, I think, there's self-evident spiritual fruit. Um, mm. But don't miss it. And when you mm. see the signs of it, that gives you encouragement that there's there's more to come. Mm. You know, yeah, mm. it's, 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 it's that garden is it's a great illustration. I know you like it. Now, I'm mm. looking forward to actually welcoming you back to our garden because um, yeah, we, we've done some work. You'll see changes actually since you were here. So um, yeah, we Kim, Kim and I have been productive. So we like grass. Excellent. Grass seed grows good, good grass. So we're we're doing that. And um, so I think we're probably. What else we're we going to say? I think we're. Mm. I think it's been a lovely chat. So it has, yeah. We've really enjoyed that, and yeah, just um, yeah, just. I'm glad we've had that opportunity. To just encourage people. Just keep your eyes up. You know, when um, things are tough right now. Um, and yeah, be kind to yourself. I think, you know, just um, it's, it is hard, you know, it is really hard right now. And I think we need to acknowledge that to ourselves that, um, so when you're finding it tough at work and there's lots of emotion around and self-control feels really difficult um, and it's, and you know, it's hard to be kind or, um, you know, when, just be kind to yourself. Take some time out, you know. Um, go for a couple of minute walk <laughs> somewhere, just down the corridor, you know. Um, we, it is tough times, um, and yeah, um, the spirit is with you. He never abandons you. He's always there, and um, the spirit is where that that fruit comes from. Um, so. 
and vitamin, he's, he is with you no matter what's going on. So um, yeah, um, keep your eyes up, uh, look at the sun rising. It is rising, we will get through this. There are some good things happening um, and yeah, this dark time will end. Yeah, and uh, so as we're coming through Christmas now, we, we do wish that uh, yeah. people have a, a, a good Christmas as far as they can within the limitations that you enjoy time you know, with, your, with your family, your loved ones in whatever form it can be. Um, uh, but remember for Christians that Christmas is not just one day, it's not just part of the year actually, you know, that it's, it's our reality every day that God is with us. Emmanuel, God with us is not just a mm -hmm. Christmas carol, it's actually our reality all year round. God is with us and uh, that's our, our hope into the future as well. He will always be with us and we're looking mm -hmm. forward to it. So the springtime arising in yes. spiritual ways, but also physical ways and also yeah. in the health reality as well. So, so thanks for being with us once again. And uh, we look forward to seeing you soon in, on In Real Life. Mm, thank you, Pete.